Hey everyone, and welcome to the Mark 10 Mission. It's wonderful you are here as we gather together in Jesus' name, listen to his holy word, and spend time with him in prayer. As you may know, June is the month of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Our celebration today will help us draw closer to the Sacred Heart and experience the burning love that Jesus has for each of us. In the Gospel today, we step forward, stand at the foot of the cross, and witness what happened in the moment straight after Jesus had died. Let's begin. I invite you to be still, open your heart, and listen carefully to the words of the Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. It was preparation day and to prevent the bodies remaining on the cross during the Sabbath, since that Sabbath was a day of special solemnity, the Jews asked Pilate to have the legs broken and the bodies taken away. Consequently, the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first man who had been crucified with him, and then of the other. When they came to Jesus, they found he was already dead. And so instead of breaking his legs, one of the soldiers pierced his side with a lance. And immediately they came out blood and water. This is the evidence of one who saw it, trustworthy evidence, and he knows he speaks the truth, and he gives it so that you may believe as well. Because all this happened to fulfil the words of Scripture. Not one bone of his will be broken. And again, in another place, Scripture says, they will look on the one whom they have pierced, The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we're going to talk about the word invitation. We can be invited or called to many different things in our life. Let's think of some examples. Each morning we're woken up or called by our alarm, or maybe our mom or dad, to start the day. That's not always the easiest moment. At school, we may be called on by our teacher to answer a question. When we go to see the doctor, our name is called to let us know it's our turn. Later at home, we might be called to come eat dinner. That's always exciting. Over the weekend, we might be invited to a friend's house or even to a birthday party. We like being invited to do exciting things or to spend time with people that we love. Being invited makes us feel important. It means that someone else wants to spend time with us. Today, we're going to think about the most wonderful invitation that you and I could ever get. Have you noticed there's someone here with me today? And what is Jesus doing? He's pointing to his heart. When we talk about the heart of Jesus, we often say the sacred heart of Jesus. Sacred is another word for holy. His heart is different and more beautiful than any other heart. Do you remember the gospel we heard a few minutes ago? You might wonder why we heard about Jesus dying on the cross. Today isn't Good Friday. But when he was dying on the cross, his heart was pierced. In other words, his heart was opened wide. Do you know why? Look at this statue. There is an invitation here. Jesus is inviting us into his heart. This is the most personal and beautiful invitation we could ever receive. Right now, 
Jesus is looking at you, yes, you, and saying, come to me. When we're invited to something, we have a choice. We can either say yes or no. There is nothing that would bring Jesus more joy than if you said yes. Maybe you're wondering, but what is the heart of Jesus like? How do I know if I want to say yes? Think of the kindest, most wonderful person that you know. Now think of the strongest person you know. Lastly, think of the person who knows and loves you the most. You're thinking of some great people right now, but Jesus is even better. The heart of Jesus is kinder, stronger, and more loving than any other heart. And just think, that heart loves you. Here's another way to think about this. Think of a place that you like to go, maybe your room or a park or another place where you feel peaceful. We like to be in places that we know well, places where we feel safe, comfortable, and loved. When we're in those places, we can be ourselves. Once again, there is no safer and more loving place than the heart of Jesus. It's amazing that Jesus invites us into his heart. This is a very personal thing. Our heart is at the center of who we are. There is a place within the sacred heart of Jesus that is meant just for you. It's almost like your name is written there and Jesus is waiting for you to come and to be with him. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I invite you to be still. Close your eyes. Jesus is here. Jesus, you invite us into your sacred heart. It is strong and kind and full of love for us. It is always open to us. Listen to the voice of Jesus. He calls your name, inviting you into his sacred heart. How would you like to respond to him? How do you answer his invitation? O most sacred heart of Jesus, fountain of every blessing, I love you. I offer you this heart of mine. Make me humble, patient, and pure. Help me to follow you each day. Grant, good Jesus, that I may live in you and for you. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. for yours. Jesus, take my life and lead me on. Lord, you have my heart and I will search for yours. Let me be to you a sacrifice.
Your Mark 10 mission is to draw or paint an image of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Spend some time praying and reminding yourself what Jesus' Sacred Heart is like. And then write some words to describe Jesus' heart around the outside of your image. You can then put this in a special place so that you can pray with your image of the Sacred Heart all through the month of June. Thank you so much for joining us on the Mark 10 Mission. We've loved celebrating the Sacred Heart with you. You know, Jesus has more love contained in his Sacred Heart than we can ever imagine. And he wants to share it with you. We pray that you can experience the burning, overflowing love of Jesus today and all throughout the month of June, the month of the most Sacred Heart of Jesus. Bye everyone.